Is it good? Am I doing it? <laughs> Are you proud of me, Daddy? <laughs> Alrighty gamers, that's right Remo, it is a different song, mainly because I think this is an appropriate way to welcome our new game. I, I'm going to die a lot, I can admit that right now. But you guys have been asking me to play through a Souls-like, an Elden Ring, a anything for a long time. <laughs> also, Mehers and Raymond, thank you for the sub, seriously. Me, Daddy? <laughs> Greatly appreciate the both of you. But give me more of that sexy radio voice. Now I can't. <laughs> now I can't. It's embarrassing now. Now you anticipate it. But hello everyone, welcome to stream. I'm gonna do myself a favor real quick and actually no, I should I should be fine right here. Uh let me know if I ever peek too too much. I have adjusted the mic settings a little bit, so that way if it does start to peak, it should catch it. Theoretically. But, you know, I'm not perfect with that kind of thing. Anyway, I just want to say real quick, uh, this is partly because, the reason, like, I'm swapping from Disgaea to Lies of P, which this is, what you're listening to right now is the main menu theme of Lies of P, 
the reason I swapped to it is because we raised a good amount of money for UNICEF and genuinely a certain person has been a massive part of that and I wanted to thank them profusely for everything they've done so Reimu, you wanted me to play a Souls-like game for the longest time. I don't know how much you know about Liza P. I don't know how much any of y'all know about Liza P. However, I figured it would be a fun time, a hard time, and genuinely probably the game that's going to carry us well into next year. <laughs> Just going to say it right now. Knowing how I am about these games, and how technical and good at gaming you need to be to beat them. Uh, I, I don't have much faith in myself, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kinda, kinda doubting myself off the rip. However, I'm here to give it a try. We'll give it our best try. And honestly, we'll play it for a good long while. Um, just as an FYI. Just as an FYI. Uh, why are we watching Liza P again? Is this... <laughs> Jesus, right? <laughs> um, just one more bit, too. Uh, tonight is the last night for UNICEF. I figured because I missed a stream, I would extend it one more night. Um, but as it stands, I'm going to be making 210 miles the goal at the end of two months. So, it's going to be a hustle. And you know what sucks? I can't go to the gym tomorrow because i got to start work early... And I have to stay late. Ha. But anyway, I think that is about all I have to say. Seriously, thank you all so much for being patient with me tonight. Um, <laughs> bro, like genuinely speaking, I, the Fox Wife and I made some delicious risotto. It photos of it are in the Discord under food prawn, but the cheese that we used just destroyed my stomach. <laughs> Not that y'all really need to know that, but at the same time. So yeah, that, that was part of the reason why it took us so long. Anyway. Time to work overtime so I can overexert the shit out of you. Oh my lord. Now, granted, I have not tested this at all on my computer. If this does not work well, what I will do is... We can... Like, basically what we'll do is... I'll use my Xbox to capture it and just play off my Xbox instead of using my computer. I just figured it would work better on my PC. Anyway, let me... Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Alright, before I get too deep into any of this, I am going to be straightforward with you. I did play a little bit of this with Jules. Right, I did play this with the fox wife. I didn't get far. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. But I did get enough to the point where I said, okay, sweet, Liza P looks like Bloodborne. It is. Jimmy already started soon. I see they got Jiminy too. But we have to hurry. My name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Okay. Uh, up, up, or belt. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Press A to hold down the extra bag. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Cool. Uh, so, Liza P, by the way, is basically Bloodborne-esque. Oh, her name's Sophia? The title lied to me. <laughs> well, no. We're playing as P. We're P. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. But, 
if you've played a Souls game, you've played this. But the streets and are not safe. Scarily enough. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Scarily enough before be I decide to do this. To the hotel. All right. Before I decide to do this, I looked up how hard Liza P was. Like, just comparatively. Also, I'm gonna do myself one quick favor and just... Right about there. I don't want to make myself too big. Let me just make sure that looks good on y'all's side. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> um, but this... People consider this harder than Elden Ring. <laughs> and they consider it harder than Sekiro. So, your boy was ready to do Sekiro... We gonna, we gonna, I hope you enjoy making, or me making fun of your accent because it never gets old for me. <clears throat> oh, we on it, chat. Also, let me know if it looks like things are slowing down at all or anything like that. On like Donkey Kong chat. <clears throat> to be entirely honest with you, I was able to beat the first boss on my own. <clears throat> Did it take me multiple tries? Yes. Am I hoping that? Well, wishing you best of luck. At least in those two games, I could coach you in easy mode. You know? Well, that's kind of why I wanted to do Liza P. <clears throat> That's kind of why I wanted to do Liza P, because I wanted it to be different and new for all of us. I thought it'd be fun. Also, to the people who have played it, feel free to backseat. Because, <laughs> dude, I'll do my best. But I can't guarantee shit. No backseating. Let him suffer, damn. <clears throat> Plus, I think the movement in this game is much smoother than any Souls game. And that's kind of... That is definitely the thing for me. Say of. I won't be able to go to sleep if I don't hear that goddamn uff. Of? Lies of P. <laughs> I gotta say it slow. Instead of, you know, going through my usual lies of P. Alright, let's see your guard. Blah, blah, blah. You can guard enemy. Okay. So, you can guard blah, 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 blah. Guard regain. So, the Fox Wife was actually playing through a chunk of this prior to, right? And I never actually got to read any of this. <laughs> so... You thank you, Seth. <laughs> You're welcome. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character will take reduced damage, but it consumes stamina. The reduced damage will be transferred to guard regain. Guard regain accumulates, but gra gradually decreases over time. When you have guard regain, you can attack enemies to regain HP. If a guard succeeds right before getting hit, it triggers a perfect guard. When a perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage, only stamina is consumed. <laughs> My favorite VTuber is Mori Kali Zumpy. <laughs> Yikes. Only, uh, you can use perfect guards to destroy an enemy's weapon and or put the enemy in staggerable status. So, fun fact, you actually have a charge attack that you can use with almost all of your attacks. Also, like, oh shit! Forgot there's a bitch back here. Oh, whoop! Bitch. <laughs> Give me this. Give me that. 
<clears throat> so no, I'm kind of hoping I can speed run my way back to where I was yesterday, right? Back to where I was when I was playing by myself to see to see whether or not I'd be comfortable enough with this game to even bring it up to y'all. sucking at this game, your full health bar. So bad at these souls like Seth. I'm having secondhand embarrassment for you. <laughs> oh, trust me. Oh, trust me. There's a there's some shit coming up. Like I said, I did up to the point, like, I beat the first boss. It took me multiple attempts. And also, I'm not gonna lie, it took me more attempts to get past the mid boss, <laughs> so, which we're coming up to. So, you know, <laughs> I might have lucked out. You might be in for a show. All right, if anyone finds this note, get out of the station and run. Be sure to steer clear of the waiting room. I saw a huge puppet smashing people to death in there. Well, guess where we have to go, chat? Ooh. Oh, I can jump? Oh shit! Oh, that's clean. Can I do a... I can't do a jump attack with it, though. A bitch! No, the game is... I'm not gonna... Oh shit! I saw it coming. this pop this real quick okay we're okay Raymo it's on Xbox Game Pass if you have that all right lock device there are doors and ladders all throughout crap that are locked by devices you can lock these doors or go down ladders to create shortcuts. Okay. You got us a shortcut. Alright, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't know this was here at first. When I first did this. So when I died to this fucker like four times, I had to redo this entire section. I hope y'all are cheering me on in spirit. <laughs> Alright, bitch. Come on. Shit. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Oh. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Perfect guard, baby. I wasn't perfect. Woo! I wasn't perfect either. Woo! Fuck! Oh, he staggered me a little bit. I'm okay, I'm okay. Shit, I did not think that was gonna reach. Oh, he's sta he staggered me. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go for it. Got him! Woo! Alright, get the fuck out of my way. Oh no, he's not dead. He's not dead. Ugh, get the fuck down. Shit, 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 shit. I'm, I'm backing up, I'm backing up. I'm good, I'm good. Got him. First try, baby, first try. <laughs> A bitch. A bitch. <laughs> Oh, that feels good. I can't tell you how good that feels. Like, literally, it took me 20 minutes. Wow, look at you sucking at these Souls-like games with your first try victory. No, seriously, it took me so long, so long to beat this dude. Oh, feels good. Feels damn. Huh? Yeah, I had to. 
Yeah, I beat him. <laughs> yeah, imagine being bad at Souls like couldn't be me, Lamau. Tell Jules I said hi. Mehu says hi, baby. Meher says I'm getting crunk. <laughs> On a work night? For realsy though, the adrenaline rush from Soulsborne when it click, it's the best. Oh no, trust me, trust me. It has not clicked yet. It has not clicked on a lot of regards. Anyway, here's our bonfire. Yes, on a work night. Krat. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina as well as charging your pulse cells. Uh, you will be revived at this point in case of death. Remember, this process also revives enemies, not just your character. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers Also, I can't get crunk this weekend because of extra life. It's this weekend? Homie, you were supposed to tell me when we were going to do that together. But if I lend my power to the Stargate, sure it is. Gather ergo, clever one. I can't do the full 24 the hours though. The will make you stronger. So I'm doing 12. But the Stargate on Saturday doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Okay, now we can level up. I'm gonna get me some health. And I'm gonna get my oh shit, do I not? Do I not have Fuck it. I'm gonna get health capacity. That's all I can afford right now. And then we're gonna use the storage. I'm gonna put those in there. Cogwheel can be thrown to draw an enemy's attention. Rapidly charges fable. That's a bomb. That's a bomb. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold on to those in there. Did you eat crap? Crap? I ate too! The Ark in Seattle concert of C What? I don't even understand what's going on here. Use Legion Arm. Wait. Whoosh! Buddy, I was reading! Trying to get the lore! Get the hell back, bitch! Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted. Lore! Welcome to the city of Karat. In honor of Valentius, I can. who erected the cornerstone of Ord. Brother, is that a fucking child? Being I'm not gonna lie, when I was playing yesterday, I was a little too pissed to <laughs> actually stop and look around. <laughs> Cause I was getting my shit kicked, okay? Alright, so there's... Bitch right here. Using Fable Arts. Why use Fable Arts Why, while well, guarding to use Handle Fable Arts? Weapons have distinct blades and handles that each have their own Fable Art. Fable Arts use up Fable Slots and each fable art has a different number of slots. Charge fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. Ah, oh, you bitch. Excuse me. Oh, I felt bad about that one. Oh shit, he's got a friend. Whoop. I use I think if I use the Starcaster it doesn't revive everything. Crab Times issue 183. They were saying did you eat crabs to relate to the audience? It sounds like crap or craft. What? The Crack Grand Exhibition has been delayed. 
This decision was made to protect the citizens until the pro puppet fren frenzy that has recently paralyzed the city is under control. The occurrence began on Rosa Isabel Street, resulting in hundreds of casualties. While the cause is still unknown, the number of casualties and the scale of the damage are both growing. As the crisis dragged on, the workshop in Vanini Company, Krat's largest puppet factory, announced that they would <coughs> offer emergency supplies to citizens and do everything they could to alleviate the situation. A task force is investigating the possibility of a fatal loss of the Grand Covenant, which is the control protocol for the workshop's puppets. However, there's no quick solution as of now with the puppet frenzy resulting in more casualties. As the city braces for resurgence of the pet petrification disease, the citizens were advised to stay indoors for their safety. However, many citizens are trying to escape through Krat Central Station, intensifying the general chaos. In other words, shit fuck. Shit fuck bad. See you, bitch. What you doing over there? What you doing over there? I sneak up on you. Oh shit. I hear doggo. Doggo, doggo emerged. What's up, combo, bitch? Hmm. Hmm, hmm. I'm not a fan of Fable Art. The lady's not a 10 out of 10 hottie, I'm boycotting. Jesus. Alright, I'm kinda curious to see if this will revive everybody. I don't think it will. At the same time, I want to level up my capacity. Just because that does. It gives me more defense. And that's kinda more important to me right now. Fully charged, full health. Are the enemies back? Yes, they are. Okay. So now we know. I figured it was like souls in that regard, but at the same time. I never get oh, Jesus. Woo! Side dodge. Ooh, ooh, perfect guard. I will take all of these free items. Thank you very much. I was not anticipating all that. Take a little bit of health back. All good. Oh, there's a bitch right over here. Oh, there's another bitch right behind me. back up. So if you can't tell in the bottom right, I do have a durability meter. Shit, that wasn't close enough. I'm taking you out real quick. <laughs> nice. We're doing okay. I can't go this way. Oh, it doesn't have ragdoll physics when you kick their corpses around like Scarecrow on the ground. It kinda does, it's just more grounded than not. Like this guy over here. <laughs> Yay, corpse physics! I see that bitch. I'm about to run up on him. Can I hit? Can I get up behind him? Yes, I can. Fuck you. <laughs> I hear something. Oh, hello there, friend. Are you not paying attention? That's gonna be your downfall. <laughs> I wonder if they see me up here. Nope. Nope. Up. Up, oh, he's coming up the stairs. <laughs> he saw me. <laughs> he's like, "Hello there, boy." 
What you doing? That was my friend up there. Come here, bitch. Pick the wrong bitch to fuck. Ba -ba. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feels good. Okay, there's no kind of bullshit going on back here. Whenever I die, I'm giving science permission to use my corpse with you. Ah! Alright, can't go that way. So this is where the shortcut will be later on. Let me go ahead and get my weapon all the way back up real fast. There's a bitch. What's up, buddy boy? Boink! Boink is. Alright. Oh, hello. I'll go. Come on. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come get me, boy. Come get me. Ooh. Oh! Okay, I can't deserve that. <laughs> I, was, I, was feeling, I was feeling myself a little too much there. I should have played this during October, man. Gives you that spooky vibes. Vivid Ergo Fragments. I can't unsee her bloody clothes as a Halloween shirt. Or Hawaiian shirt. Who? Him? The boy I'm playing as, Pete? Oh. I forgot about you. Fury attack. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge fury attacks, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Alright, come on, bitch. What you got? Coming in. Got it. It's okay. It's okay. Ugh, I'm okay. Ow. Bitch. Here I come. Finish it. Yeah. And when she gets blood on her clothes, they look like Hawaiian pattern spots. That's a dude, my dude. Also, that's oil. <laughs> Believe it or not, that is straight up oil, but now I see what you mean. But I know what you mean, like the floral pattern, yeah. Fuck uh... it. We ball. Not afraid of one. Multiple though. That's when I start getting a little spooked. Oh, you have a gun. Woo! Here I come. Here I come, I am Sydney Mon. You headless! Fuck! Oh, then you got my hit. Oh, you got two hits. Nope, nope, wrong. Wrong guy. Thank you. I need to focus on the right people. Otherwise, I'm gonna die quick. Alright, sneak my way up here. I don't think homies saw me back there. My HP's not looking great. Oh, item. Press RB or RT while falling. Oh, hi. Beautiful. Beautiful. So he's Pinocchio, Nito. Time for the endless Feliac. Oh god. Feliac? Yeah, no, the whole premise of the game is that you are a special puppet. In what regards? 
I'm not gonna tell you. Not yet, at least. Pretty sure this is Pepe the Frog before he became a me. <laughs> Lies of Pepe. <laughs> also, thank you for the hydrate, D Gage. How's it going? Long time no talk. Mm. You know, thinking about that Lies of Penguin game, I can fully believe it. Alright, so we cleared our way through here, cleared our way through here. More dudes down that way that I don't really want to fuck with right now. This should give us a shortcut, I think. Or not. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say you're a poor puppet with hopes, dreams, feelings, and even perhaps babies. Ah, they, they don't know about the last one. Oh, Jesus. Alright, come on, fuckers. I ain't afraid. With the backstab. Oh. Hello there, friends. Oh, are you not paying attention to your surroundings? I'm about to melt yourself this shit. Deep, 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 deep. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Just like Mel Gear Solid. <laughs> deep, 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 deep. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go down there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out up here. I'm tired and preparing for a test tomorrow, but at the moment I'm eating and taking a minute. As you should! Oop. Ah. No. No! Stop it! Alright. Took a little bit of a free hit there, but that's completely fine. Oh! I couldn't I couldn't finish him clean! It's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Oh. Two items. Nito Burrito. The most loyal servants. Homo Machina. And Jenny works. Well, I hope he does. The Marvelous Puppet Show Festival. Hey, shortcut. A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. And that's the only way in. So please, be careful. <laughs> nope, I ain't getting punched in the face. Fuck you. Consider that some speed, because we made it to the first boss already. Alright, let's use some storage. I don't want to use these yet. If only because, like, I want to save them for when I need them, you know? When I really need a good level up. That said, I could use a level up. And, oh, I have enough for two. I'm gonna go with technique. No? I guess I, I guess I only have enough for one. Damn. It's fine. Hello, friend. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. <laughs> Colonel, I'm being attacked by a strange cyborg in a Hawaiian shirt. Don't underestimate Pinocchio's snake. That's no Hawaiian shirt. It's the blood of its and enemies. You're alone? <laughs> you could use some help. Here's a festival gift for you. Now get yourself something useful. Alright, let's purchase. 
So the cool part is... I don't know what he gave me. But you can buy the other weapons from the beginning of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just so I can have them. And then if I go back over... Also, let's go ahead... And... Equipment... I'm gonna put on... The Saber. So I never tried the... Let me, let me fuck around with the Greatsword real quick. Oh. It's huge. Oh, it's so huge. Not a huge fan of that. Alright, let's, uh... Swap that real quick. That's my charge. It's a cute little... I mean, not gonna lie, I like my, I like my fencing EP. It's pretty funny. Also, item for me. Introducing the Parade Puppet! Here appears a terrific puppet who, that will enliven, enliven the parade. Introducing Parade Master. A remarkable parade puppet model from the workshop to celebrate the grand exhibition. Hello there, I'm the Puppet Master. I like singing and marching with people. The Parade Master has the following function. 16 jolly songs, cheerful laughter and 54 parade phases, or fate phrases, excuse me. Parade dances to delight children, the strength to carry six men on his shoulders. The Parade Master was made big in com commemoration of the Grand Exhibition. Check out its charms on the eve of the upcoming exhibition. Alright chat, they laughed at me for saying the apocalypse would be caused by Puppet Uprising. Who's laughing now? Oh Jesus. Alright chat. Here we go. Can I... I don't, I don't feel confident enough to... Like, I don't feel confident enough in myself to say I can one-cycle this. We're gonna try our best. Giant parade puppy? Sounds friendly. Oh, it's totally. Oh shit, there's an ad. Oh fuck. I should have looked to see when an ad was about to start. Also, I, I cannot pause the game. Perfect go! What's up, bitch? <laughs> Perfect guard! What's up? Yeah, what's up? I'm okay. Perfect guard, bitch! Perfect fucking guard! No. Perfect guard! What's up? What's up? What's up? Perfect guard! Oh, okay. Hi there. Just gonna charge up real quick. I couldn't see the block. Oh, I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Come here, bitch. Oh! Ugh. I'm okay. Okay. Perfect guard. Let's fucking go! 
Let's go, chat. Let's go. One time. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Style on him. Ooh. Oh, that feels... I can't... I can't tell you how amazing that feels. Holy fucking shit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm not gonna lie. Is it good? Are you Am I winning, doing son? it? <laughs> Are you proud of me, Daddy? Homie, I, I just beat the first hey, boss. Daddy Chozo underscore Maya says, Are you winning, son? Are you proud? I am proud. P really do be something on the show, man. So let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Beauty, not a single death. Oh, it's a deathless run, boy. <laughs> Till I get fucked up by some shit down the line, really. Must be an easy game if you beat it. Damn. Nah, they legitimately, they say this game is harder than Elden Ring. And I'm not gonna lie, like I said, like I said, like Seth mastered Ultra Instinct. Dude, I need to put that on the soundboard. Oh, God. Oh, there's somebody here. Ultra Itchy. Oh god, I was... I'm telling you, chat. When I was first testing this yesterday, like, again, I saw it on Game Pass yesterday, alright? Hotel Karat, the greatest luxury you'll ever experience. Treat yourself to an unforgettable day. Like, when I was playing this on my One own, because... The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. How would that work? No, like, literally, I just need to make up, like, the Ultra Instinct song as one of the buttons, as a react, something. Nice throw! But anyway, <laughs> I'm assuming that's about the puppet that just fucking got laid out. But no, for real, for real. I made it to the first boss, right? Made it to the first boss. Made it to the fucking half boss, right? Or the mid boss. Got owned by him like three separate times. And then I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, <clears throat> I blame it on the fact that Jules was playing the game. Up to that point, I hadn't gotten used to the controls. I'm like, alright, cool, it's fine. And then, to get to the Puppet Master, it took me like five or six tries to beat him. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that I was able to do it first time on stream bro i don't care if you want to be like oh well you you already knew what was going on hidden moonstone the moonstone was not from this world however it was the most optimal god i can't read shit before it disappears um but to be able to beat him first try oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah your boy feels fucking fan fucking tastic anyway you want to see the big premise about this game So you'll be asked with morality questions. I'm gonna show you what happens when you tell the truth. Puppets are a constant source of trouble. The hotel forbids all outside puppets. Please leave the premises. Darn. Anyway. Welcome to the sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Who are you? Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Crot. No, I'm not. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Your springs are reacting. So genuinely, what you are seeing up to this point is about all I know. Also, I got an achievement to tell the first lie. It's a sin to lie, Pepe. <laughs> Lies of 
plumes. Oh god, the fact seriously, I'm still on that. The fact that I got here in under an hour. I feel fucking great about myself. Geppetto. Geppetto. Yes, he's in the game. Was it not Gaspacho? <laughs> no, it, it's Geppetto. Gaspacho. Jeez, Spacho? Anyway, I was kind of curious to see how this looked on PC. Because her hair looks like ass on my Xbox app. Xbox S. Still kind of looks like ass, but it's okay. Game's running I'm great. So Stream looks like it's looking you. great. I am Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Searched all over the city of Croft to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krat is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard. I'll explain more once you find him. Okay, you level up through Sophia using Ergo in your possession. Increase your stats when you level up. Uh, I want more attack, I want more capacity, and that's all I can have. That's, that's about it. So I have Legion, I can carry more shit, and I have better defense. Yes. I'm level 16. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. Can't I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. Where's the watch? This watch <laughs> will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Oh. There's the watch. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Wait, do I not have my stuff in storage anymore? Oh, it, why is this all in my pocket? I put it in storage. Parade leader's ear go. Although the entire audience disappeared in a pool of blood, the parade master was cheerful. As long as there's a king, the show must go on. Alright.
Ooh, item. Oh, cool. This area doesn't deplete my an energy. This month's attraction, Hotel Krat. Hotel Krat is one of the city's creepiest and most mysterious buildings. According to the lore, Hotel Krat is an isolated castle built by an aristocrat devoted to a form of occultism after receiving a revelation from a radiant tree. At one point, it was used as a mental institution, and some patients said they saw hallucinations. However, no records remain as they were all destroyed in a large fire. Above all, being so far underground just compounds the rumors. Some even said that it's connected to an unknown hell. But now the rumors have served to embellish the charm of Hotel Krat, which has been renovated in the latest style. As the recent rumors of the Grand Exhibition Ghost Hotel spread, more customers are actually looking to stay at the hotel. Next is a comment from the hotel owner, Miss Antonia. A ghost hotel? I've heard that more times than I can remember. But fortunately, our hotel guests are brave like lions. It's no problem at all. Rating 4 out of 5. Creepy and Mystical, Best Resort in Krat. Reporter Medoro. This guide was made with the support of the Vignini, Vignini Company, a friend of the city. Hi, Grandma. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia. And this is my hotel. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He did have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, We'll have to make a new coffin. Damn. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man. And do take care of yourself out there. Someone's memory. Show up with. People have no idea so many secrets are buried in crime. Thanks for keeping Rest me company. Rest in pieces, frog <laughs> gather Gustavo. What are you about? I see you're here. That means you can lie. This is a ghost hotel. Your <laughs> lies are a rare ability. You're able to choose your own path, unbound by anything. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. I am an old friend of Geppetto's. His son is like family to me. Make yourself at home. You're always welcome here at the hotel. If you have any questions, ask my butler, Polandina. This is a ghost hotel. It's got a fucking cult inside it. It's creepier than the human-like screams from Geppetto's basement. <laughs> Four out of five. W wood spook again. Butler? Welcome to Hotel oh. Crop. My name is Polandina. Ivy is a bottle of but scotch whiskey no longer. Antonia. She's... Please oh no. I be of service. Bro, if I was At going Hotel out, Crop, I'd want scotch as an Ivy. and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Crot. Oh, I can buy shit from you. Neat. What do you have? Nothing I can use. The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. Oh, his hands a are puppet weird. may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Fascinating. So, I feel as though... Just spitballing off the rip. I'll use my power. Let's talk for a minute. 
Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. I beat the boss without that. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. Did you take a shower? Oh, envious. <laughs> In the folklore yeah. of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. <laughs> huh? That is why these automated mm -hmm. models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. Here. Oh, there's somebody here. Hello. I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Oh, Geppetto left it with me. I need a human brain to predict the future, but Puppet Law says I can't harm humans. Human you offer me your brain! <laughs> Legion arm. Legion arm is a special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified in all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Vengini craft, Venigi craft machine. <sighs> the sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons axe? need work, bring them to me. If you want German suplex a human, then you aren't hurting them. You are transporting them to the floor, which I hurts know my way around. Fair. If you have Moonstone, Eugenie can help you upgrade a weapon's blade. The weapon's attack power will increase when you upgrade the blade. Some blades can only be upgraded with a special moonstone. I don't have enough money for that. And I don't have enough money for that. A stargazer is a survival device used by the stalkers. It powers itself by accumulating and absorbing ergo spores in the air. The stalkers installed stargazers all across the city. Once they're recovered, we can put them to use. If you want to test your skills or try new techniques, head for the garden. The stalkers captured a puppet to use for training. Don't look at me like that. Everyone hates puppets. I know whose side you're on. Ah, the Ben Affleck Batman pacifism. Alright, I'm gonna wait for Ad to finish real quick. So I want y'all to see this. There's a cat. Oh, does she keep her eyes on me? What are you gonna do when I'm right behind you? Oh, she doesn't know what to do. Oh, I organized this place according to the rules, so don't touch anything. Hello, friend. Had a five-second ad, and it's done. Is it still going? Nope. <laughs> Done already. Okay. So out this way, I can practice. So we got this. Oh shit. Is it just... Run behind him. Then with the out attack. Is this just like a shot that... How far does it go? Oh, I can just blow people from here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm running up on him, I'm running up on him, chat. He never sees me going. Boom! Oh. It's okay. He's got a friend out here.
Great fi fortune to all visitors. Rest for all travelers. Blessing to all friends. Alright, so what you have seen up to this point is what I know. The rest is about to be brand new to the both of us. Also, I didn't even get to use any of my specialty attacks, which makes me a little sad. I didn't need to, but at the same time... around real quick. Excuse me. You need the Rosa Isabel Street entrance key. Is this just so like everything around here is gonna have its own key I guess? It's locked tight. Imagine if I could jump off and, like, stab Grandma. <laughs> this screams, like, secret around here, but whatever. Can purchase items from Polandina at the hotel. Yeah, we figured that one out. here for tonight. Now that I got you all good and hyped. My headcanon is this is an alternate ending to Toy Story. Sig cost the shit. God! When the new locomotive that was made in Krat broke the world record for fastest speed, it quickly became the symbol of Krat. Many trains were replaced with the newest model, and it marked the end of an era where various locomotives competed against each other. But I want to say, okay. I'm going to ask y'all here. Alright. We could either end it here. And just pick up Friday. I think, honestly, I think that might be the best idea. If only because I don't want to get in the middle of something and then say, alright guys, it's getting late. So, I'm going to go ahead, actually. We're going to call it an early stream tonight. If only because... Who lordy lordy lordy. But I'm not going to lie. Alright? I'm not going to lie. This game's fucking fun. I'm really proud that we were able to get as far as we did... I know it was a short stream, and I apologize for that. We will definitely make up for that on Friday when I'm back for more of this wonderful lies of P. But, I do want to say, I feel like that was just the perfect tease. Just like, hey, here's this fun game. We're going to have a good time with this. And I'm not going to lie, your boy, your boy is feeling really confident after breezing through that. But I will say this, okay, before I end things off, I do want I do want to run a theory by you, okay? So, good job today. Sorry I said you sucked at Soulsburn's games. It was sarcasm. Also, I'm a soulless demon. You should feel proud of yourself. I mean, we will see how long that carries. Probably next stream, I'm going to get my shit rocked. That's just how it goes. However, that said, I do want to discuss a theory with you. Alright, so... The first lie, our springs were changing, right? I... I kinda have this idea, alright? There's definitely a morality system in the game. You know, that is readily apparent. You can either lie and follow the rules of robotics, or... You don't lie, or you do lie. Shortest stream ever. <laughs> it's not the shortest stream ever. I know y'all gotta get to sleep too, and I don't wanna keep y'all up too late. But. 
I feel like, like right now, I want to ask y'all, where do you think the best ending lies? Because this game does have multiple endings. That was something that I'm drinking. We vibing, brother. <laughs> Jesus. Good lordy, lordy, lord. <laughs> like, where do you think the good ending lies? Because I remember in the promotion material for this game, they said it had multiple endings. The morality system was the key point. Do you think telling lies is the best way? Or do you think telling the truth? Honestly? I don't know. I don't know yet. I want to say... Follow the title. And, you know, follow the advice of Grandma who said, Lie to protect yourself. Have you looked at our political landscape? <laughs> Lie your life away, there you go. I'm sure going Skynet is the good ending. Pfft. No way problems happen then. I mean, genuinely, I think that might be the good ending. As weird as that is to say. Because the whole point of Pinocchio was he wanted to be a real boy. And they said, you know, in the beginning, they're like, hey, you're a special puppet, you can lie. So I feel like lying is what brings you closer to humanity. But I don't know what that says about humans at that point. The fact that we have the ability to lie doesn't make me feel like that doesn't... Lying in our context and in our nature is bad. You know, you shouldn't tell lies. The good ending is probably when you discover that you aren't a puppet or a human, but a frog that was given a puppet body to control like a mech. The ending is when you cough up yourself, Pepe <laughs> the Frog. <laughs> Yeah, to be human is to lie. Honestly, D Gage, if somebody modded that, I would fucking put that in the game. I'm not, that's that is over the garden walls level of bullshit. Even the honest of us tell stories or false compliments. Lying's not inherently bad. That's true. There are different forms of lying. And again, to the you know fourth rule of robotics, robots cannot tell a lie. Frogs have no morals, they're funny. <laughs> I swear, when I beat this game, because I am, I, like, genuinely speaking, alright, I know we kind of benched this guy. Dude, I will be entirely upfront. I do want to talk about that real quick. Alright, I left the game running, okay? I left the game running la yesterday while I was taking the fox wife over to get a couple of, you know, treatments done, and we... Like, I got to level 1,000 plus with all my characters. I super reincarnated them and got back to level 1,000 again very quickly. Alright? I made myself pretty OP in that shit. Alright? And even still, not as OP as you can be in that game. But, I'm not gonna lie. I can't, I can't commentate over that kind of game. I really tried my best to. I had fun with it. And will I probably finish it on my own terms? Most likely. But... And will I still make the VODs of it? Of course. I will get those all taken care of. But I will say this. Having something like this, right? Having something that I'm actively engaged in. Something that I can't hit start and just let the game play itself. That is fantastic to me. I think we had a really good time here tonight. And I want to carry that momentum. I want to carry that into November, I want to carry that into December, and just end out the year strong. Uh, with that said, alright, Mehers was supposed to tell me that, you know, you don't have to commentate every stream to make it a good one. No, I understand that. I understand that. that that's a fair point. However, I think it was pretty obvious that I was like, I don't know what to say about this. Like, quiet streams... Quiet streams aren't necessarily bad things, but they do distract, or they do, like, they kind of take away the point of watching a streamer if, you know, the streamer can't say anything about the game they're playing. You know, also my fucking ear mug, or ear thing's falling off. What was I supposed to do? You were supposed to tell me when we were supposed to do Extra Life so I could have that set up, bitch. <laughs> So I could be like, alright, you're doing 12 hours, I'll do the other 12. Bitch. <laughs> and then set up all the charity stuff. Bitch. <laughs> B 
besides, I have been promising you guys a Souls-like game for a long time. Now, be open-minded to using a screwdriver to open the paint can. True, that is a fair point. But I did want to, you know, thank you, Raymu, for all the support during, you know, last month and the month before. I have no memory of such an agreement. Bitch! Be open-minded to let streams function be a record of you discovering a game and what that looks like. That's a fair point. That's a very fair point. But I'm not gonna lie, Disgaea was not doing that for me. <laughs> like, the second I found out I could press start and the game played itself, I was just like, I'm not gonna have fun with this because the second things got too hard. Yes, was it something that I could ignore? Of course. But the challenge... That's the thing. The challenge in Disgaea 6 wasn't there enough for me to feel like, okay, I need to, you know, tactfully put everybody. It's just, hey, let me line up all my attacks. Boom, they're dead. Um, if I went, but I'm not going to, like, I will say this. If I went back and played, like, Disgaea 1 or 2, one of the early ones, that one would be, uh, yeah, the game playing itself is, uh. <laughs> but if I went back and played Disgaea 1 or 2, the one that, you know, were much more difficult. And le and I get it. They made... I'd rather have an engaging game where I wouldn't want to press up on. Exactly. No, that is... That is it an exact... Like, perfect description of Disgaea 6. Alright, Disgaea 6 is a game. It's a good game. You know, I will give all credit where credit is due. It's not the game that Disgaea should be. It definitely built itself around... Hey... You want to auto this game? You can. Here's a whole, like, the fact that they had a whole subsection of where you could build that all out. And yes, could you ignore that? Absolutely. But the game rewards you for doing that and almost kind of punishes you for not doing it. You know, there's certain things you can't unlock. But I will say this. Mehers, you absolutely told me you were going to talk to me about. Didn't I tell you six was ass? No! You didn't, actually. You're like, oh, six has Hollow Live in it. I'm like, oh, neat. <laughs> actually, I'm about to about to double check our Discord conversations just to make sure I didn't actually or you didn't say that. And I was like, oh, fuck you. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Good thing nobody can see this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, they need to index this DM. Give us a bit. Uh, we, we have shared a lot of uh, quality images back and forth with each other. But it's, it's getting there. Just give it some time. But anyway, so no. I had my phone with six. And genuinely speaking, like, it gave me the con. I, I will say this. It gave me the confidence as a streamer to come out and say... Like, hey, I want to play this game and just do something that's completely different. That said, like, I, I'm excited. I really am excited to do Liza P because I finally feel like I'm honoring all y'all's request for fucking Elden Ring and Dark Souls and everything else. Like, here it is. I've heard that seven is good. Matters. Disguise specifically six entry has teddies, therefore ten out of ten. Buy it for me, BB. You, you need to buy me Disguise Six! <laughs> you bitch! No, not gonna lie. I <laughs> bought that shit on sale. No, let's see here. Did it we dropped the magnifying glass? Can you try searching again? Oh my god. No results. Jesus H Christ. I could just scroll up, but that's a lot of scrolling. <laughs> Let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ta -ta. Matters giving me advice about artificial sweeteners. <laughs> okay. So you did D7. Okay. Disguise is fun to play and watch, and I picked this one because it's new. Disguise 6 has Hull Live characters in it, though. That's true. Yeah, nah. I could do it easily, I think. Uh, which do you think everyone would enjoy more, though? I don't know. I need to watch some of the reviews on 7, but I had a ton of fun with 6. 
You literally said, boy, boy if you don't. I'm spending all my disposable income on Pokemon and Magic the Gathering cards. I need to feel happiness. I feel that, but bitch, you literally said, IDK, I need to watch some of the reviews on seven, but I had a ton of fun with six. I trusted you, <laughs> and friend is in six. And the complete, and then I said, <laughs> and the complete version of six is out too. And I can name the NPCs after chat. Oh man. And then I said, Nito Burrito, let me ask Reimu for her thoughts. <laughs> Oh my god. I wasn't that... Didn't I say I got the chat? No! You didn't! Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't that far in! You bitch! You whole ass bitch! Oh my god. Homie! I went, I said, I bought six because I was like, oh, Mahers likes it and Hollow Live is in it. <laughs> That's what I did. I am bitch. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm glad you admit it. Jesus age Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. I love you, homie, but goddamn. Mehers is trash. When will you learn this? Ayo, hey, shut the fuck up. You are not trash. Get that off my feet. <laughs> oh god, fucking Streamlabs popping up. Mehers into the Mandela Bruce. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, all that to say. I'm going to end the UNICEF stuff tonight. Seriously, Raymond, thank you for all the support. I hope you're enjoying Lies of P. I will be playing this one through. Unless we hit, like, a very hard, like, hard fucking wall stop. I will probably continue this until the completion. Because I'm not gonna lie, I like the story a lot. Is it just a, you know, steampunk version of Pinocchio? Is Disgaea good on Steam Deck? I don't even have one! How can I tell you? I'm not Google, you know? <laughs> Shit. Look it up, please. Oh my god. You know what? I got you, homie. I need assistance. Sure, I got you. Is Disgaea 7 good on Steam Deck? Okay, the game scales to any aspect ratio. It's been tested from 21.9 to 4.3, but should also work well for on any display in between, including the venerable Steam Deck 16.10 display. Yes, I'm pleading for- I'm dead. Bro, I'm pleading for help. There's a whole- there's a whole ass review about Robo Space Kitty. Yeah, no, it just looks like the PSP version of me, homie. Also brought back some of the older characters, which is interesting. Also, also, they made the main character much better off the beginning. Like, good god. Wait, I don't know if this is the beginning. Or they're level 16. I'm assuming that's pretty early. Looks like it runs pretty flawlessly. Good to know. So, yes. The game runs great on Steam Deck. So is it good? Bore. <laughs> Bore. Bore to YouTube, my friend. Alright. I think that's enough for tonight. Like, genuinely, I'm excited. I really am excited to play more of this game. I think we will have a great time with it. Even if it kicks my ass multiple times over. But, 
Until then, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. I'm going to be going to get some sleep. You should go get some sleep. I will be back on Friday, most likely. Um, I might I might be back. I might be back for a Saturday stream. I'm not entirely sure. I might do something where we do Plumes Cast Live. Not entirely sure. Can't wait for more, says Ramu. I appreciate that. But we will probably be back at some point. Uh, we'll be definitely be back Friday for Liza P. I will probably have something on the in-between there. So that way we can do Plumes Cast. And I can tell you all about the crazy con shenanigans that I got into over this past weekend. But until then, everybody, seriously, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I've had a wonderful time here with y'all tonight. And... As always, I will see you in the stars. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye.